Howdy y'all. This very fashionable look is brought to you by me getting my wisdom teeth out today. They were like, don't put your hair up, no contacts, no makeup, and comfy baggy clothes. So this is the look for today. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous and my appointment isn't until 11.10. So I'm just up for hours contemplating what they're going to do to me and I'm so thirsty and I'm so hungry and I want coffee and I can't have anything because you have to fast beforehand oh and I'm just like I'm just complaining and complaining because I'm anxious but not like super anxious because I'm okay I'm going to go definitely had worse anxiety but like whew. my number one reoccurring nightmare is like my teeth crumbling apart falling out you name it. So dental work, not fun for me. And the last time I got teeth pulled, I was not numb all the way and they like broke off while they were like pulling them. So they had to like dig into my gum. It was a horrible experience. I didn't go to the dentist for years after that because I was traumatized. But my wisdom teeth are coming in sideways on the bottom. So I have to get them out. So they're gonna just take out all of them. My wisdom teeth in the top have already like come out all the way. So I'm hoping that that will be really easy for them to just pop those out. But I'm worried about the bottom teeth because they're in there sideways and it's right next to my jaw and like all those nerves and stuff. And even though the chances are very slightly, they have to tell you all those like side effects that are possible. Like, oh, we might break your jaw. Oh, you might have permanent nerve damage. <sighs> But that's not even the part that's worrying me the most. I'm just worried about the recovery process and being swollen and in pain and like bloody and like not being able to eat anything. I love eating. This is gonna be torturous. I did go shopping though and get a bunch of like snacks. Oh, I got some extra gauze right here. I am prepared. But yeah, I got jellos and pudding so there's like some cinnamon cinnamon <laughs> cinnamon pudding down there and then i have like the chocolate and then i have cinnamon applesauce and then what is this one again strawberry peach applesauce and then cherry strawberry and orange jello i also have stuff that i couldn't keep in my room because it's like you need to keep it cold so i have um like little mini ice creams there's some vanilla chocolate and I got some sherbet <laughs> and I also got popsicles and then I got um drinkable yogurt and then my mom bought some regu regular yogurt and some gogurt that we put in the freezer and then I also bought flan <laughs> because it looked really good so I have a lot of stuff that I'm going to be able to eat oh and then I also have instant mashed potatoes so I should be good for this week like that sounds like a lot but like I'm not really going to be able to eat solid foods like all week so that's really not a lot for like a week's worth of food. But I don't even know if I'm gonna want to eat. I don't know what to expect. I'm very nervous. I need to take my medicine for the day though because they had me start my antibiotics and my pain medicine last night. So I have to take more today. And at least that's an excuse to have a sip of water. My mouth is dry, especially because I'm talking so much. Ah. And I'm also trying to keep my lips super moisturized despite not having any water because they're gonna like clamp my mouth open. I have a very small mouth too. Like every time I get a new dentist or dental hygienist, they always comment about how small my mouth is. And I'm like, I'm trying, man. I'm trying so hard to like do that for you and it's just whatever. So I know my lips are gonna be aching after this and I don't want them to be all chapped. I just now got to the point where my lips are not like all crusty and chapped because I have been drinking enough water and moisturizing my lips and exfoliating my lips and I feel like this is just gonna set me back a bit. Mmm, so luscious. I'm gonna put my hair into a braid because on my paperwork it says no ponytail or bun. So I assume that meant that I couldn't have my hair up but I have so much hair, I feel like it's just in the way. So I'm gonna put it in a braid down the back and then ask them if that's okay. And then if it's not, then I can just take it out. 
but I don't want them to have any distractions whatsoever. And this is just everywhere. feel like that like loopy and weird like most people apparently get just very tired i can't talk right obviously because i'm swelling and i have a bunch of guys in my mouth it's gonna ice my face and then maybe sometime soon i'll be able to eat something because i didn't know if i would be hungry but I'm hungry. My mom's reheating pizza downstairs and I'm so jealous. How rude. She should eat slop in solidarity with me. <laughs> no. Okay, I wanna go because I don't I don't think I'm saying much. Okay, bye. I was concerned so about swallowing medicine with my mouth full wasn't that bad. Peter's for the, Peter's I'm, I'm alive. Hey, how's it going? 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 Okay. I'm gonna ice Sure. Yeah, I'm just very tired. It's not very cold so I'm sorry that I need to get all dressed up. I'm so hungry. But how can I eat it? It's in my mouth. Okay. Everything okay? Yeah. What? You okay? Why? I have removed my gauze. And three out of the four of them look like they're not bleeding. The bottom left one still looks like it's bleeding a little bit. But I don't taste blood. And I'm so hungry, as I've stated a million times. So my mom is making me some mashed potatoes. Yeah. Good morning. It is 6 a.m. the morning after because, of course, why would I sleep in even though I turned off my alarm for once? But I just wanted to show, like, I am not really swollen at all. It's a little right there. Um, but yeah, I can feel my jaw. I'm not super puffy like at all i'm sure that i am a little bit but it's just making me look like supple and fresh faced little baby i don't have really any pain like right there when i kind of pressed on it it felt like a bruise yeah i don't really have any pain 
I can open my jaw decently fine. I was never able to open my jaw that much before, so <laughs> I need to take my antibiotics and my pain medicine for today, but I don't really have any pain, which is awesome, which means I don't need to go get the narcotics that they filled for me. I don't need to take those. They did put this pain management so shot in each of my areas while I was in surgery and that is supposed to keep my pain down for the next like today and tomorrow so that might be why it doesn't really hurt that bad but it also like really is not swollen at all so I feel like that's a good sign I'm still kind of talking a little lispy like not as enunciated as usual so obviously there is a little swelling that's not bad I was throwing a fit yesterday for nothing, but my anxiety, like, you know, you never know what can happen. I could have broken my jaw, but they didn't. <laughs> All I can remember is I'm like propping my mouth open and then I thought that he was gonna go put like the shots in and then I was out. And then I woke up and I was like, okay, I feel fine, let's go. This is my second time going under general anesthesia. So both times I had a really good experience with it. Thank god because it's like one of my biggest fears i'm always afraid that i'm like not actually gonna be asleep and i'm gonna be aware the whole time because that's something rare that happens but it happens and i was like oh god that would be horrible when i was little i used to really hate was it irobot or robocop but they took the sky and they put him on a table and they like turned him into a cyborg and he was still like very cognizant and it scarred me <sighs> worse than any horror movie ever has i don't know what to do with myself though because my mom's asleep I told myself i wasn't going to do anything today because i thought that i would be dead to the world and here i am so i guess i'll put on my gilmore girls torch and then bug my mom when she wakes up <laughs> I'm gonna go because it felt like something got loose back there and now I'm like freaking out. But I'm probably just like feeling gum. Like feeling my gum because I'm talking too much. I don't know. Oh, scary because I can't see it. All right, so this is gonna be the first time cleaning my mouth since I had my surgery yesterday. They told me, oh, yikes. <laughs> they told me to wait until the next day and then I could carefully start brushing my teeth again. And then they gave me this rinse in my mouth. And it says to swish, but I'm afraid to swish because I'm afraid of it like messing something up. So I'm gonna do it very carefully. I'm afraid to brush the back of my mouth because I'm afraid to like accidentally go from too far back. After years of like shoving this to the back of my freaking mouth, trying to like reach my wisdom teeth because my top ones were like all the way out. So I had to like, or else plaque would get back there. I'm not supposed to spit, so that's hard. <laughs> A little bit of blood in my mouth. That's normal, right? Oh no, it's childproof. <sighs> Did it get it? It smells similar to mouthwash. I hope it doesn't taste bad. It does kind of taste like mouthwash mixed with like liquid medicine. Yeah, I keep wanting to like spit because I have been like very, like I've been salivating a lot ever since my surgery, way more than I used to. And you're not really supposed to spit, but like I feel like it hurts to swallow constantly. Like I am a little sore in my neck. Yay, we did it! I got tired of my bedroom, so we're going on a little walk. I'm going crazy, doing nothing. So I still feel weird filming in public, even when nobody's watching me. Tell me why I look like this, like this greasy hair, swollenish, broken out face, and I walk in to someone I haven't seen since high school, and her mom. I mean, I'm the one that stopped in Emma. I was like, oh my god, hi, because like I wanted to say hi, 
And then like, I was like, oh my God, I look so bad. Yeah, I felt awkward. Every time I have any kind of social interaction, I, I immediately do this and I'm like, oh my God, I look gross. Oh my God, that was so awkward. Crazy, crazy. But yeah, looking like this, I did sneak into the conversation. Oh my God, there's people over there. We're gonna turn this way. Enough awkward social interactions for one day. Just walking by somebody is awkward to me. I did sneak into the conversation that I had just got my wisdom teeth out and that I had been like stir crazy in my house. So I decided to go for a walk. So I hope that that explained the look. That's crazy though, crazy. Today's post-op. I can tell I'm a little swollen. My mouth hurts more today, but I just took my medicine. Hopefully that'll die down a little bit. I'm gonna make some coffee now. I'm gonna maybe take a shower since I've been like marinating in these clothes for two days. <laughs> Attractive. Update, I still have not showered, but we are moving on to semi-solid foods. I'm going to try to eat. I am so hungry. Oh my god, I'm so bad. There you go, baby. Let's see. Mm. Now I'm gonna be eating eggs all week. I don't know why I didn't think about this before. Mm. Eggs are like my favorite food. You have no idea how excited I am that I thought about this. I showered, I changed, I ate some popsicles. That's why my mouth is purple. Kind of depressed. Being in bed like this all day, every day. I put on Harry Potter, as you can hear, because I thought that would make me feel better. But yeah, we're chugging along, guys. Hiya. A little update for the day. I got to eat some semi-solid foods today. Today's Thursday. I had the appointment on Monday. So like three day, three day, three, four days after. I don't know. Um, I'm going to try to eat some mac and cheese. Because I felt like that was small enough and mushy enough that I'd be fine. I had a crescent roll this morning. Because those are very soft. I had scrambled eggs. And I had... Oh, I ate a cheese stick. Very tiny bites, chewed it in the front of my mouth. Anyway, I'm watching Harry Potter. I told myself I was gonna watch one Harry Potter every Sunday until Christmas Eve, but I've been in my room and I've been sad and depressed. So I am watching ahead. So we're on the third movie. And what's really upsetting, because things just keep going wrong for me, is that I just opened, I got a brand new eight film pack because I've watched my DVD so many times, like some of them are scratched. So I just got a whole new set. And I just now put this DVD in and it is skipping. And it's my favorite one, the third one. So I think maybe my DVD player is just really old. I've had it for over a decade. So I need to get a new one. So there's just another thing I have to worry about. Uh, I'm gonna eat my cheese and drink my tea. See ya. Howdy. I am one week post-op, so we're doing the last check-in. Um, I don't really have any swelling. I never really had any swelling, so I don't really have any pain. I'm still taking ibuprofen just to kind of, just in case for the swelling and pain. I'm still on antibiotics. Um, today was the first day that I used the syringe to clean out the little holes and so much food came out. I am appalled, very grossed out, but it was also satisfying. Um, I meant to do it on camera, but I forgot, and it's probably a good thing I didn't do it on camera because it was gross. But I hope that you guys still enjoyed my weird gross video that is a little bit different than my normal content, but I was freaking out for my wisdom tooth removal. I'm still freaking out because I still keep thinking that I'm gonna get like a dry socket or I'm gonna 
get food stuck in there, which that was apparently a valid concern. But I hope that maybe, you know, if you're freaking out about your wisdom tooth removal, and that's why you're watching this video, that maybe you'll feel a little bit better because it was not at, as bad as I thought it was gonna be at all. And maybe I just got lucky because really I didn't have any like swelling or pain at all. My jaw is very tight and I can tell in the way that I'm speaking that I'm not enunciating as well as I can and I still can't eat normally. So soft food is still my best friend, but all in all, not bad. And I'm happy that I got it done before I got kicked off my mom's insurance because now I'm an adult officially, I guess. I don't know. I, I'm watching Harry Potter and I have a ribbon in my hair. Very festive. Okay, I'm gonna go. I hope you have a great day and that you enjoyed my video. So I am so glad that I procrastinated on uploading my video because right after my one week like checkup with y'all, I developed this rash on my body. It was like hives and I was so confused and it turns out that it was from the amoxicillin, the antibiotics that I was taking for my wisdom teeth. So I wanted to include that little tidbit real quick um that um you can have a delayed reaction to antibiotics apparently and to not freak out because i read that like you're not like allergic to it but like it's a reaction that can happen so i just i had like two more days so i kept trooping with it and i finished out the antibiotics done with them and the rash went away but i had like red dots all over my thighs and my chest and my face was like red and flushed it was I was scared I was scared I tried to get some footage of it but like it was a little awkward I'll try to insert that here yeah don't know if I worked that out or not I guess you you'll see you saw I don't know maybe not but yeah all in all I'm doing okay I can eat again, I just flush my mouth every single time. And I'm doing good. It was not that bad. Not that bad. All right, <laughs> bye.